What part does the gentleman from Texas rise? I ask unanimous consent to address the House for one minute and revise it. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. S uh, Speaker. The American people strongly oppose the instituting of a national identification card. The authority was given for a national ID card in 1996. I have been working very hard to try to repeal this authority. Today, we would have had an opportunity under the transportation bill to repeal this authority and to prevent a national ID card from coming into a existence. Unfortunately, that will not be permitted due to the rule that is coming up under the transportation bill. I think this is a serious mistake. It's not just 30 or 40 or 50 percent of the American people who reject this. Almost all Americans reject the notion of a national ID card. And I find it a shame that we're not able to vote on this and repeal this authority. It was never intended that the Social Security number would be the universal national identifier. It's given to a child at birth, and you can't even be buried without it. So the national ID card, when instituted, will be used for everything, to get on an airplane, to get a job, open up a bank account, whatever we want to do, we will have to show our papers. This is un-American. It is something that we should not be doing, and unfortunately, we will not get to vote on it today.